Current Lightronics picking up a kill with over 800 damage. Light alone against four tanks. Hey guys, what's up? Light here, and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been forever, but I've been very busy and I barely touched Blitz. I think I spanned a lot of battles within this past day or two uh, to make up for some pretty lost time. Other than that, I've been just, you know, playing here and there without any intent to uh, make any videos or or do much, honestly. I think I've just been platooning here and there. I just haven't had desire to play the game. But yeah, here we are. I'm very glad to have you guys back. And, you know, I decided to take out the FV4202 just because I never showcase a tank. And I'm also going to make the videos a little shorter. I feel like 40 minutes is just too long at that point. I can just start streaming. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to make any more content just because, I mean, I was on the old iPad. I got a new iPad. Uh, I still haven't gotten used to the size. Uh, it's just way smaller than the one I had. It's just a, re a regular 11 inch. I had a 12.9 inch. But yeah, without further ado, I mean, I can talk about all these other changes and, you know, different things, uh, you know, with stuff in my life. But I mean, that's not why we're here, right? We're here for some gameplay. So 202, I'm on uh, Molendike. It's the first game. And I think uh, 20 minutes to 25 minutes is probably like the perfect uh time for like a youtube video it's not too long and it's not too short so the thing with the fv4202 i know that you guys are excited for the next update with a bunch of changes in many different tanks but this tank isn't really going to get anything except for an hp buff um if you do run the well just with any gun you run on the tank the only thing that will get uh changed in terms of balance is the other gun the i think it's l781 i'm not too sure of the model but yeah it's gonna get that gun is going to get better aim time and then turret rotation aim scatter for your uh, reticle and stuff like that. And then it's also going to get a pen nerf. So I don't know if you guys run that uh, gun, but I I don't recommend it. I mean, look, I'm just the first shot I put in the game at an angle. I can pen the chieftain with, you know, hash and yeah. But this tank will get one buff uh, with whatever gun you run and it, it is going to get an HP buff. It's going to be 50 HP to the tank. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but in medium fights and all with tanks that don't have the best alpha like a 310 or something like that uh you can't get away with winning those 1v1s but yeah we shred that chieftain there with a wz i was waiting on him to come and then we can push and i just switched to regular chi here on the 57 no need to waste the uh, premium and if you didn't know regular chi does more damage than the premium hash so yeah just uh make sure you keep that in mind so we clear town a lot of people like going A on this map, but I mean, I don't like to waste a lot of time. I kind of like to push the tempo and um, I run calibrated on this. So as you see, if I didn't run calibrated, I'm not able to pen that uh, VK unless it's a very difficult shot. You see that little strip on the bottom there. So, I mean, it just makes penning heavies and super heavies frontally uh, much better with my uh, premium AP standard. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this Progetto here. And I'm going to put in a head show on the turret. Here I put in a shot in the turret. I feel like I did have shots on the bottom plate and whatnot, but he's going to be turning side uh, side to side, left and right. So, I mean, I feel like the more clear shots are definitely to the turret, at least for me. So, again, you see how he keeps turning his hole. I'm not going to risk a shot. The prior shot, I think I hit for 200. I thought that was a clean shot to the turret, but I guess it wasn't. Um, but we're going to get the clear here, and it should be a pretty easy game for us. We were able to... I wanted to spot middle to see who was going in town, but I guess I didn't have the mobility to. Usually you can do that with light tanks, but I mean, I'm learning, so seems like I couldn't do it with the 202 in uh, this battle. We were able to get some decent info. We had most of our tanks based in the town and we were able to get a pretty easy victory. You're gonna see the only tanks that out damage me are WZ113 GFT, so I can't wait for that tank to get nerfed because that tank is broken. You're gonna see the, the people who out damage me, they just YOLO like, it's crazy what you can get away with with that tank especially in this update so i can't wait for it to get nerfed that tank's been spammed in tournaments i mean it was pretty cool in tournaments and stuff but i mean i don't know it was just pretty annoying to kind of have to drive that tank always and not not be diverse as much uh to win games in tournaments and also in uh pubs but here we are in normandy probably one of my favorite maps in the game just because there's so many things you can do in a medium tank and a uh, and a light tank on this map. So what I like to do, I like to spot up, you know, this kind of right side of the map here from the south spawn. 
I got spotted up by the bat chat. That's a very weird spot for a bat chat to be in. Usually a TD is there and they come a little later, so I did not expect him to be there, but he gets punished from myself and the WZ. And he's pretty much a one shot here. I'm gonna go spot the left as well. I don't wanna get surprised someone yoloing me. Since, since it's just me and the WZ right here in the front line and we have TDs covering us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some ground here and see if I can kind of bait my, uh, I wanna say my track uh, covers and also my turret because I do have a very chill turret. So this ST1 or STI, however you pronounce it, comes out of nowhere and I'm very glad that I can kind of corner brawl like this. Again, I bait the turret. I barely give that E100 a shot. Unfortunately though, my alpha is not enough with the uh, spawn liner of the 4 5 to finish him off, but that's what my teammates are for. So yeah, we're gonna try and bait this uh, E100 again, give him a little bit corner, uh, a little bit of the corner of my turret, and we're able to get another bounce. So it looks like this guy just gave up right now, and unfortunately, I mean, that's pretty much gonna be his game. I think by the time he's reloaded, we're all gonna be able to uh, combo him out of the game. So yeah, unfortunate for him. He's gonna get hit by the WZ and should get finished by the E100, I think, or vice versa. So yeah, we're able to clear this, but I see on the left side of the minimap that, you know, our tanks, you know, do need a little bit of help there. I see a Leo, a juicy Leo uh, in my sights. So I'm going to see if I can get the clear on the STI here, but I quite don't have the uh, angle here. Maybe I could have aimed a little bit uh, further back, but that didn't even matter because he got eviscerated about half a second later. So I'm looking to help this. Um, Leo, I bounced his shell, unfortunately. I thought he was going to turn a little bit more to the left. Um, but yeah, he didn't do that, so got a very unfortunate bounce. And there's no reason to go to the Leo. I mean, the SU pretty much cooked him up. And now I can just finish the game and see if I can farm some damage on the 1A3. Seems like he's AFK, but as soon as I shot him, he woke up, so... I don't know, you tell me. Is that like Wargaming AI, like, just putting... Uh, AI into the game for us so that they can fill the queues up. I'm not too sure, but um, Yeah, I, unfortunately that top spot on the 183 even if you aim it good I'm not sure if it has spaced armor up there, but I think you're gonna see I think I tried to shoot that a couple times in this game plan I wasn't able to pen it so I'm not sure and as I told you if you got a yellowing WZ It doesn't matter uh, What their stats are like you just that tank is so broken you can just do pretty much top damage if you know what you're doing every game in it. So I got out damaged in that regard, but I think we had some pretty good uh, couple starty games to kick things off with. And uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of sucks that the 202 didn't get anything too spicy. Um, but I can't really complain because, man, the tank looks really damn good. I mean, the PBR, the legendary camo, and now since I have the new iPad, I can run you know the game on pretty decent max settings. I'm not running them on ultra settings i do have some max settings off to like medium or something just because i feel like i don't need that extra you know latency in the game even though i don't think it affects it, the ping at all or excuse me the fps i meant it's just i don't know preference for me so i see a 120 here i'm going to be super aggro see if i can put an early shot of him crossing here aim it in all the way i mean i have all the time in the world no reason not to get a nice head show on the side and I'm going to try to start rotating out just because I don't really have support right now. But as you're going to see on the minimap and, and, you know, in front of us right now, the Super Conquer came to help. The T30 can back us up from the back. And then we have an E100 that made it to C-Cap. So now we outnumber this side. Um, and I feel like we can definitely take this fight. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make it to the far right corner here and see if I can counter the 120's position the WZ's position here and see if you know the super con can join me and you know we can work on this guy I quite don't have the pen here um and he's backpedaling away from me so I can't get any uh hat shots on him and we're already down a tank on the left we're probably going to be out too as you can see on the mini map it's a 2v1 now on A and that guy's probably going to get eliminated so we got to work on this side very fast see what we can do here and I'm looking to see if I got some help and you know as soon as I was thinking about dipping and you know getting another angle the E50 comes and you know what there's no need for me and the E50 to be here so I'm just going to rotate out I still want to aggro this but I kind of want you know the super conquer to look at me to see what I'm doing and maybe we can go in together and so sometimes I mean you do have to take initiative and that's exactly what I'm going to do here and 
look at these tracks on the FE. You can bait them. They're all gray, so people could think uh, that, you know, they can pen them. So I get the balance from the E4 and the 120 completely misses me. So it's a pretty good bait. And since the E4 has higher alpha, just better DPM, I think, than the 120. You know, I wanted to focus him more uh, since he's the bigger threat. And unfortunately, as you saw there, I just got a go show. I went completely through the 120 or under the tank. I had to push up there because I am getting farmed from the back. And I try my best to angle here. I get the bounce from the 120. I'm going to shoot under the E4, get a shot here in the 120, and hopefully the Super Con can finish him off. I'm going to stay here until I'm unspotted, maybe like another 10 seconds. And then I'm going to cross. Hopefully that E5 doesn't have any angles on me so I can cross safely. But as you're going to see, he's spotting for his entire team. So unfortunately, I will get lit up here and I'm going to waste a little bit more time uh, getting unspotted here on this left side. So as I get unspotted here, I'm going to see what my next move is. I feel like, you know, they have the advantage. They can just camp it out, but it looks like they want damage and they want to finish out this game quick. And so they're looking to rush us. And so me seeing this, I want to create the perfect crossfire with my super conk. I know the E100 is probably going to get eliminated soon. The 50 has a far left. I can just work some very close angles here with uh, some good crossfire with a super conk. So the Yo tries to push up. We punish him here. And uh, because I do have the adrenaline there, it's I'm able to hit that max roll there on the uh, Yo. So we're able to finish him off. So the game's not looking that bad. Um, but I think this is where my downfall begins. The Rhino is just going to YOLO me. Yeah, he doesn't care about his HP, he just cares about eliminating me. So, unfortunately here, I could have, um, probably planted a better shot there. But I was looking to, more so to, you know, kind of run away. So unfortunately, there's my game. Uh, and you're going to see, uh, what our teammates were able to do after the game. I was rooting for these guys, but it's very difficult. I mean, caps are going to be at 900. Super Conk is uh, going to get eliminated, and yeah, I don't want to watch the end of that. I feel like we already know the result of that. I'm going to check in here and see what the heck happened with that uh, 120 show, because it's very interesting. I haven't had a shot like that happen in a while. I know, like, my ping has been, like, fluctuating up and down, but okay, so we got the results of that battle. I was able to do 4K. Super Conk was actually really good. Um, in that game, uh, you see he's a 10-year veteran, but yeah, look at my teammates. And look, like we got three donuts. The, everyone who went down basically did zero damage. Um, so we were able to just completely stomp the right side, but that's pretty much all we could do, unfortunately. Um, you can't really win games like that. So as you saw, that shell went under the uh, tank of the 120. So there's pretty much nothing I could have done there. I feel like I probably wouldn't have taken a shot extra. Maybe that could have done something, but I'm not trying to overanalyze right now. Let's just move on to the next game here in uh, Lagoon. Lagoon is the newest map in the game, I believe. And I know that Lesta has a, you know, I think their newest map is kind of like a winter theme map. It's, it's pretty weird. It has a lot of openings and stuff like that. So I think that might be the next map that we may, uh, not that we, I don't work for Wargaming, that Wargaming may implement in the game, but we'll have to see. Alright, so here I'll probably go to the standard, you know, kind of spot him, shoot him, a uh, little bush that you can shoot heavies crossing into a heavy side. Basically, heavy side is usually towards this left side of spawn and right side of spawn from north spawn and left side here from south spawn. So I'm going to chill. I mean, there's not really a rush to do anything. Um... I, I was hoping for the KP to cross, but unfortunately he got shot there. He backs off and see if I have a shot here in the one, uh, 132 one, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push with the Fosh and the TO7-120. In this game, I mean, if you're in a medium or light, you kind of want to help your teammates. Here, I have all the time in the world to aim the shot. So I'm just going to sit still, go AFK a bit, aim it all the way in put the shot in and then I can go to the next objective which is definitely helping out the flash so as I was saying I mean if you're in a medium or light the best thing you could do uh, with your teammates to win the game and get to the other side of the map fast just help them kill tanks help them you know clear them fast and you know it'll give you a higher chance to get more involved into the game into bigger fights um and give you a higher chance to win so here I wanted to shoot the uh the Yag with Hush, but I got bumped in the back by the Fosh. Unfortunately, I don't think he uh, was looking at where he was driving, but that's fine. I'm going to delay the shot here, wait for the track, 
Um, but yeah, that kind of didn't work out because me and the Fosh shot at the same time. But the Fosh was able to reload that second shell in the auto re, uh, auto loader, and I'm able to track this Yag now, and he's pretty much easy pickings here at this point. So I'm going to hash the Yag. I see the Sheridan looking at me. I don't want to give him a free shot, so I was using the Yag to HP share for me. Um, here, I'm not tall enough to shoot the Sheridan that was just eyeballing me, and I do get a bit of, uh, of a lag spec here. You're going to see that here. Um, again, I'd, yeah, that reaction wasn't the best for that shot. Um, I don't think it was a lag, though. It was just a poor shot by me. I just thought he was going to stay in the open for a bit. I didn't think he was that good, but I'm just going to crawl up here. I think I kind of wasted a bit of time here. It could have been a bit more dangerous, maybe if you know the enemy team had a little bit better initiative to kill isolated tanks but yeah let's just forget about that here i wanted to take my sweet time make sure he fully crossed the open for for me to shoot him because he can you know back off and then you know your shot's going to be you know going to narnia for no reason so i'm going to put in a shot here in the tvp get a nice hush show off i'm just going to switch to to my premium ap i mean there's no need to shoot hash at that point even you know your lower throw can finish that so I'm going to aim the shot in the Sheridan. I know I could have eliminated the WZ, but the Sheridan is the biggest threat to me. I mean, the WZ has no DPM, doesn't have any crazy alpha, so... And, it, I mean, it, end, it ends up working out for me, so I was able to get the shot in the Sherry. I end up eliminating the WZ here, and the Sheridan, I mean, he's been eyeballing me the whole game, so I'm like, okay, cool. I'm able to trade with him, wait till I get my reload there, and then I can peek out and, you know, willingly trade with him. And see if I can get a nice hush shell or AP show here. But he's too quick for me. I thought he was still going to be out there. So I just throw a shot um, carelessly there. And yeah, he's still running. Unfortunately, I was looking at where he was going rather than where I was driving. So I kind of um, uh, bump into that uh, friendly tank there. But it looks like he was trying to maybe sneak in a shot at me. I don't know what he was trying to do. But unfortunately, my tank is heavily armored. And I'm not going to risk a hash. I mean... The likelihood of a hash finishing him is pretty low, so I just put an AP, so the next shot is a guaranteed elimination, and yeah, we're able to get it. Pretty solid game for us. I think we made all the correct moves. I just feel like the only mistake I made probably was not um, getting to the mid fight sooner. I think I took the longer way. I just, you know, I thought they would be kind of more centralized in the middle, and I could just stay up on the top and farm, but. I feel like in those times, I feel like it's better to be safe than sorry, you know? And here we have, I think this was a super conk. <laughs> he was saying how we had like uh, three zeros. And that's the one that did some pretty good damage here. He uh, was pretty solid for us. Here we are in mines. I, man, this, this map, I don't like it. I'm just checking the time here. I think this was like, I was contemplating that this was going to be the last game. As I said, I feel like 20 to 25 minutes. It's perfect, you know, to showcase a tank and uh, to show what it's like. Two games is too little. I feel like four, maybe five if you have the time is enough. And if like they're all drawn out games, drawn out games, I think like three is good. If it's like full seven minutes, I think I have a gameplay coming up of one of those. I think it's in a T57. But the Leo's going to go up. I'm going to go up. I mean, who cares? I mean, it's mine. It's like, I feel like... The more you hold in mind stuff, I feel like the worse it's going to be for you if you're not in a hold down tank. So I just, I cross up there, seeing their lineup, knowing that they didn't have anything too threatening unless the TDs were going to come up as well. So I'm going to cross here knowing that the tank's on the hill shot. I, I take a big HE from, I believe it was the uh, KPZ. So yeah, here, like I said, I put in that hash show on the gray part on the top. And as you saw earlier in Normandy, I wasn't able to pen it, so what I'm going to do, I think it may be spaced armor, or maybe it was just not the best accuracy by me. Um, I'll probably just make a safe bet and AP that from now on, unless I'm closer, and you know, the gun will be more reliable. But I got shot by the M103, and it puts me at 700 HP, so I'm pretty much a one-shot to the 183, the 268 version 4, and the 68 if they get a decent roll. Um, so I got to be a bit careful here. I did not expect the M103 to be camping at that spot, but I feel like for me, there's no reason to be at the hill anymore. And I feel like in a medium or light, you always have to be actively engaged in the game. You don't want to stay in one area for too long because um, it just destroys your damage farming potential and, you know, your ability to win the game too. You don't want to be useless and be a 
a disability to your team. Here I probably could have hedged the i7, but he was wiggling back and forth. I kind of didn't want to uh, struggle with that or just aim in too hard. I just wanted that shot so my teammate can get a easier clear, you know? So now I can probably cross to the far right of the map, maybe see if I can scout any tanks that have not been spotted this game. And I'm thinking maybe the 6-8 or, you know, maybe the Leo's over there too. I'm not too sure. We'll see where the Leo ran off to. But now that I have this angle here, I'm, I've am i been going from the left to the right side of the map uh, this entire game. And now I get some good clear shots on the 6-8. Get a hash shell. No need for another hash shell. Just put in the premium AP get the pen because even the lower throw is going to be able to eliminate him so i get spotted here and i'm thinking man what the heck what spotted me here so i'm going to stay here safe from the right i know there's a rock that's you know covering me i was waiting for the m103 to back up but he's very very persistent in that uh and staying there so there is zero reason for me to again stay there afk and not actively move i can get the jump on the 6-8 I get a nice hash show on the 6-8, and now, I mean, I feel like I can survive a shot here unless he mega high rolls. And again, I can easily put a hash here, but I'm just trying to do any damage I can. I don't want to die because he's reloaded. So I wanted that difficult shot. He also had a very difficult shot on me. He wasn't able to hit his, and I get shot by the M103. So here I'm going to put in a hash show, or AP actually, because I did not want to stay there. And I'm going to turn left, make sure the 6A doesn't have a shot in me. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to get to clear on that 103 at the same time. So the 6A shoots. I have time for a nice head show here. I can aim it in before he gets reloaded. I'm going to put it in there in the bottom plate. And yeah, we connect with that one. And we're at pretty decent damage this game. And I'm just going to eagle child this guy. What I could have done, I feel like what you need to do in these uh, scenarios, I feel like it's too delayed when you... Uh, go for those shots in sniper mode the best um i feel like the best shot you can take there is third person third person mode shoot that i feel like i would have had the elimination there but yeah there we go the fe4202 i mean it's a tank i really don't take out often by myself and i actually had a really nice time especially now that i'm playing with um i don't play with he graphics but i do play with um max graphics when it comes to tanks and stuff like that and man, it looks beautiful. I love the uh, legendary camo on it. And here I'm just giving you guys a tour of, you know, some different camos as I pretty much am looking to end the video. Um, but yeah, guys, I have a lot in store for you. I got a bunch of videos queued up and ready to go. I'm going to try to be consistent um, as much as I can.